Hi guys, in this video we are going to see how to fix this problem that says error code 0xc00007b while opening Epic Games Launcher or any other games. So we are going to take only 5 to 6 minutes and fix this problem with 3 simple steps. So let's start. First of all, click on the search bar and type control panel. Now click on uninstall a program. Now you need to uninstall the Microsoft Visual C++, whatever versions available on your system, you need to uninstall everything. Once this uninstall is complete, now let's try to open this Epic Games Launcher. As usual, this is not working. So type Visual C++ in the browser, click on this first link and download from this official download link. Now here comes the trick. If you are using 32 bit operating system, download from this link and if you are using 64 bit operating system, you need to download this link as well as this link, these two files. So as I am using Windows 11 system, I need to download both these files. Once these two files are downloaded successfully, now let's navigate to the download location and install both these files by double clicking on the exe file and then click on install. Follow the same with the second one also. Yes, now close everything and search Visual C Runtime. Click on this link uh, that shows the all in one file. Yes, now click on this download button. The file size is 97 MB almost. So now select any server, that doesn't matter. Once this is downloaded, you need to extract the file so right click and extract using 7zip or winrar or you can just right click on it and click on extract all anyway once extracted delete these two files as we have already installed now right click on this install all.vat file and click on run as administrator and now all these versions of microsoft visual c++ is going to be installed on your system so please be patient with it this error is occurring that's because we have deleted these two files so now let's see if this is working or not no this is still not working so the final step comes here go to the browser and type process monitor then click on this first link microsoft.com and then click on this download button this is a very small file almost 3 mb in size so extract this file and now select this exe file right click and run as administrator click on agree now you can see all the processes that are currently running on your system is showing over here go to file and then click on capture events to stop this capturing then click on this button to delete everything now go to filter then click on this filter and now select process name from here process name is and now you need to put the name of the exe file run this application to know the exact exe file yes this is the name of the exe file so you need to put exactly same with all the capital and small letters maintaining so now make sure this is selected as include now close this click on add now apply and ok yes now uh, go to file uh, no okay go to file then click on capture events and now run this application as the problem uh, error code shows over here please wait for few seconds to capture all the events now you can see the name not found select this right click and click on highlight name not found now all the entries that have name not found is showing over here let us expand it now find the dll files as you can see this is exe file not the exe file you need to find the dll file that is causing the exact problem so find the file that are repeatedly present like this one x input 1 underscore 3 dot dll this file is present repeatedly so this is causing the problem in your case it may be another dll file but please make sure this is present repeatedly and then see the location like in my case this is present inside new volume c 
then windows then find the system 32 folder here it is now go to search bar and type x input 1 and now you can see this is the file select this right click and delete let me refresh once yes now this is deleted successfully you need to do the same thing with the sys wow 64 folder so find x input 1 and now delete this sys wow 64 this folder is present just below the system 32 folder so you can easily navigate to this folder okay now let's try to open this application this is now showing x input 1 underscore 3 dll is missing so go to uh, any browser and type directx then click on the first link and download the file this is the microsoft directx setup so double click on it click on yes then accept and install now it will take two to five minutes depending on the configuration of your pc and now you can open epic games after installing directx if this is still not working you need to restart your computer once and now your computer will open these games so thank you for watching see you in the next video till then stay safe